What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate Eye Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak any iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad running iOS 8.1, 8.0.2, or iOS 8.0. Now just to be clear, this does work on every iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad that is capable of running iOS 8.1, 8.0.2, or 8.0. Just to be as clear as I can, I'm going to round up all the devices for you. It is the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPad Air 2, the iPad Air 1st generation, the iPad 4th generation, the iPad 3rd generation, the iPad 2, the iPad Mini 3rd generation, the iPad Mini 2nd generation, and the iPad Mini 1st generation. And again, that is every iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad that is capable of running the said iOS versions. And this jailbreak is untethered, and what that means is it's not tethered, and what a tethered jailbreak is, is basically every time you would turn your device off, the next time you turn it back on, Cydia, anything you downloaded from Cydia, the mail application, the Safari application, and the weather application would not work after the restart. In order to get those things working, you'd have to connect your device back up to your computer and rerun a certain part of the jailbreak process. That is not the case with this jailbreak, and once again, I just want to reiterate that, that is not the case with this jailbreak. This jailbreak is untethered, meaning you could restart your device as many times as you want to, and it'll be exactly like it was when you turned it off. So Cydia, anything you install from Cydia will work. The mail application, the Safari application, and the weather application will all work. Is the same thing with everything else on the device. Now, before you start that, there are a few things that you want to know. The first thing you want to know is you want to make sure that your device is on one of the supported iOS versions. And I'm going to be jailbreaking my iPod Touch 5th generation in this video. And how you check which iOS version your device is on is you go into settings on your device, then general and about and look at the version and it will tell you right there. As you can see right here, I am running iOS 8.1, which is a supported iOS version. And something else you want to make sure of is that your passcode and touch ID is disabled. So you could go into settings on your device and disable your passcode or passcode and touch ID here. Also make sure find my device is off. So find my iPhone or find my iPod touch or find my iPad is disabled. And you can find that in the iCloud settings. If you're signed in down there, make sure you disable find my device. And with that out of the way, we are ready to perform the jailbreak process. So of course you will need a computer. Unfortunately, this method only works on Windows as of right now. As soon as there is a Mac version available, I'll be sure to make a new video for you guys showing you how to do that. But again, as of right now, it only works for Windows. And on your Windows computer, you will need four things. The first thing you're going to need is to have iTunes installed on your computer. We're not actually going to be using iTunes for this process, but for it will need to be installed on your computer in order to perform this jailbreak. And the second thing that you're going to need is Pangu 8. And this is the program that we're going to be using to jailbreak our device. And you also need WinSCP, which does serve a purpose in the jailbreak process after we use Pangu. So you will need WinSCP installed on your computer. And then you will need these two files. One of them is titled Cydia 1.1.13, and the second one is Cydia-LPROJ. I'll provide download links for all of these things in the description down below, and let's go ahead and look at those links. So the first link will take you to Apple's website here, where you can install iTunes on your computer if you don't already have it. So if you have it, you do not need to do this, but again, if you don't, Make sure you select it download now right here. And the second link will take you to Pangu's website where you can go ahead and select Windows right here. Again, it's not available for Mac right now, so you will need to download it on Windows. And again, as soon as the Mac version is available, I'll be sure to let you guys know with a new video. And next, we will need to install WinSCP. So if you go ahead and scroll down here and you will see installation package, make sure you select that. And lastly are these two files that I mentioned earlier. So go ahead and select them like this individually, then select download and do the same thing with the second one right here. Make sure you have both of those downloaded. And once you have all these things on your computer, make sure your device is connected to your computer through the USB cable. And the next thing you want to do is right click on Pingu 8 and then you're going to select run as administrator. So go ahead and click that. And then you're going to select yes. And as soon as it opens, it may take a few seconds for it to detect your device. Just make sure it's connected again through the USB cable to the computer. And once it does detect your device, you're going to be unchecking this box right here. And as you can see, it just detected my device as an iPod Touch Fit Gen. So we're going to uncheck this box right here. Make sure that that's unchecked. And then you're going to select this blue button down here. So just click that. And after you select that button, do not disconnect your device until the process is complete. Just keep it plugged into your computer. And you will get a loading bar on your computer just like this. And eventually, in the upper left-hand corner of your device, you're going to see this little spinning wheel that is completely normal. It's all part of the jailbreak process. 
and eventually it's going to say restore in progress just like this. Now, there, your device is not restoring, so don't worry, none of your data is being erased. Again, it just says that it's part of the actual jailbreak process. It's not restoring your device. Eventually, you'll get this spinny wheel just like that. And then we'll be back on the Apple logo. And then on your device, you're going to get a loading bar. And the loading bar may stop for what seems like a long time on your computer or on your device or both. Do not panic. Again, don't disconnect your device or don't click anything. Just leave it as it is. Again, never disconnect your device throughout the process. And the loading bar will go away on your device. And eventually your device will be at the lock screen. You can just go ahead and slide to unlock it here. And then you're going to see the blue button on your computer again. Just go ahead and click that blue button again. And then we're going to be getting another loading bar on our computer. However, this time, as you can see, it's moving a lot faster. And if you get this pop up on your device saying storage almost full, that's not true. That's just a glitch with the jailbreak. Just go ahead and select it done if you get that. And then your device's screen will go black. And then you're going to get this spinny wheel. And eventually your device will be back on the Apple logo. And the Apple logo will eventually disappear and you'll have a blank screen. At this point, you could just go ahead and unlock your device and slide over to wherever you have available space on your home screen and you will see the Pangu app on your device. Go ahead and open up the Pangu app on your device and if you get this pop-up storage almost full to select done, again, it's just a glitch with the jailbreak. We're gonna open up the Pangu app here and then you're gonna be on this screen right here. Now you're gonna see open SSH, select this little arrow down there. And then you're gonna select install in the upper right hand corner. So go ahead and click that. And eventually it's gonna prompt you okay right here. Just go ahead and click okay. Then you can go ahead and exit out of the Pangu app. And at this point you can go ahead and close out of the Pangu application on your computer. We're done with that. And now you're gonna go into settings on your device. And then you're gonna select Wi-Fi. And then you're going to select this little I next to the Wi-Fi network that you're connected to. So make sure you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. Select the I and then your IP address right here. What we're going to do is open up WinSCP on our computer. And where it says host name in WinSCP, we're going to go ahead and put our IP address in there. And after you've done that, just make sure it is completely correct. For your username, you're going to go ahead and type in root. And that's just spelled R-O-O-T. And password is going to be Alpine. And that's spelled a l p i and, e. and of course, the spelling for both of these things will be down below in the description. And once you've had all that typed in, just go ahead and exit out to the home screen on your device. And in one SCP, you're going to go ahead and select Login. And then you'll be getting this pop-up. And this may take a little bit of time, just be patient. And if you get this pop-up, do not select Abort, just wait. Eventually, it will go away. And if you get this pop-up, just go ahead and select Update over here. And then you will be on this screen here. And once you're here, what you're going to do is drag in those two files. So these two files right here, the Cydia 1.1.13 and the Cydia-LPROJ files, you're going to drag that into WinSCP. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and drag it right in here. So go just like this, and we're going to drag them into the right hand side. So just go ahead and highlight both of those and drag them on in and let go. And it's going to go ahead and upload them. And once they're both here, what you're going to do is you're going to select the terminal icon up here. So go ahead and click that. And then you're going to click OK. And the terminal icon just looks like this. It's a black box with a little symbol in the middle of it. So just go ahead and click OK. And then you'll get this pop up. And eventually you're going to be here. Now you're going to paste in two commands that I will have down below in the description. The first one will look something like this. And it will say 1 and 2. So the commands in the order that you should paste them in down below in the description. So just find the first one, paste that in, and go ahead and select Execute. And now we're going to paste in the second command. And that will look something like this. But again, just make sure it is the second command. And go ahead and select Execute. And once that's done, you can go ahead and select close to this pop-up and you can go ahead and close out of WinSCP. So go ahead and select the X at the top here and click OK. And now you're going to go ahead and turn your device off. So just press the power button, hold it down and slide to power off. And once your device is completely off, just power it back on. So hold down the power button again. And eventually the Apple logo will go away on your device just like this. That's completely normal. 
And once your device is at the lock screen, just slide to unlock and slide over to wherever you have available space on your home screen and you will now see Cydia. Go ahead and open up Cydia, so just tap on it. And once you open it, you will get this screen. It's gonna say preparing file system. And do not touch your device when it's in this process. So don't tap anything, don't click any buttons, don't even unplug it, just leave it exactly as it is until the process completes. And you will know that the process is complete because your device's screen will go black. And this process can take two to five minutes, so just be patient. And eventually you'll be back on the Apple logo just like this. And once you're back to lock screen, just slide to unlock and open Cydia again. And this time it's just gonna say loading like that. And once you're here, what you want to do is select install down here. Then you're going to see open SSH. So go ahead and select that. And you're going to select modify and then click remove and then click confirm. And eventually it's going to say complete at the top. So just go ahead and select return to Cydia. And at this point, we're now done. So that's it. That's how to jailbreak iOS 8.1, 8.0.2, and 8.0 untethered on any device that supports any of those iOS versions. Now, I know it's pretty complicated, so if you have any questions, do not hesitate. Leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Again, I'd be more than happy to help you out. And by the way, you can disconnect your device from your computer at this point. The process is complete. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.